Ironically, even though so many people work in agriculture in, agri in Africa, the continent is a net importer of food. And it faces headwinds in the education, agricultural sector in that you've got very high population growth, uh, you have degraded soils, and you have the impacts of climate change. And so it might be surprising that I believe that if we innovate uh, by empowering those farmers, uh, giving them an AI that's giving them advice, uh, giving them understanding about their soils and, and how to improve those soils, giving them new seeds, giving them new livestock, that the opportunity for that sector is to more than overcome those headwinds and turn this into the primary area of, agriculture, of economic growth and make Africa not only self-sufficient uh, to help solve some of the malnutrition problems, but also a significant net food exporter. An average farm in Africa is per hectare uh, has about 20% the output of a rich world farm. And you know, that shouldn't, shouldn't be the case. Uh, and this AI advisor that will understand weather and prices and seed varieties and diseases uh, will be one of the key elements along with much, much better uh, seeds and animal genetics to achieve a great vision uh, and that'll be the, continue to be the biggest part of the African economy for the next 20 years. The only thing that's new is the cloud piece that is actually running that virtual doctor, tutor, agricultural advisor. And, you know, the rich countries working together with uh, groups like the Gates Foundation, we should be able to donate the rather modest cloud cost for that AI. And so it's just free. You pick up your phone, you talk as much as you want to the doctor, to the tutor, to the, the farm advisor, uh, and you, you pay nothing for it.